Jesus is nailed to the cross and dies. Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness of all the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of those who stood there, when they heard that said, This man is calling for Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a wreath, and offered it to him to drink. The rest said, Let him alone. Let us see if Elijah would come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth quaked, and the rocks were split, and the graves were open, And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep was raised. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Why did Jesus die on the cross? When we really understand this, we will never again allow Satan to condemn us. Those who are believers in Christ Jesus can no longer be condemned. You are no longer under God's judgment. Here is how God has showed his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The blood of Christ has made us right with God. So we are even more sure that Jesus will save us from God's anger. Once we were God's enemy, but we have been brought back to him because his son has died for us. Now that God has brought us back, we are even more secure. We know that we will be saved because Christ lives. And that is not all. We are full of joy in God because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of him, God has brought us back to himself. This is why Jesus is called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. He brought us and God back together. 1 Peter 1, 16 through 19 says, God paid a ransom to save us from the empty life we inherited from our ancestors. And it was not paid with gold or silver, which loses their value. It was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. The Bible teaches sin not only separates sinners from God, but imprisons them. They are slaves to sin. Jesus was separated from God on the cross so that he could pay the price for our sins. He said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 1 John 4 and 10 tells us, here is what love is. It is not that we love God. It is that he loved us and sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. After Jesus had suffered, suffered on the cross, he knew that everything had now been finished. He also knew that what scripture says must come true. So whatever has been promised to you in the scripture, it's yours. The scripture says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation, which at the first begun to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. The most amazing act of love ever known. God gave his only begotten son, Jesus, who endured sin's ultimate penalty in the place of even the worst of God's enemy. He became a ransom for us. When a ransom has been paid, the captives are set free or redeemed. 
And this is what happened to those for whom Jesus gave his life. The Apostle Paul says that Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. This is what Easter is all about. So let's celebrate. Jesus did not die on the cross until all things were accomplished. And he yielded up his spirit. Then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth quaked. And the rocks were split. And the graves were open. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised and came out of the grave after his resurrection. They went into the holy city and appeared to men. I believe those were people who believed in Jesus and died long before he was crucified on the cross. After Jesus' resurrection, they were raised and came out of their graves and went into the holy city and appeared to many. I also believe they appeared to many people just as Jesus appeared to many people when he was raised from the dead. There were many witnesses to their resurrection. Jesus said unto Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, Though he be dead, yet shall he live, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I pastor Larry Carr, but a redeeming life ministries, you have a blessed day.